Welcome to Daily Conversation. This is Mr. King. This is Eric. Yeah, today is the 19th of May, 2021, and the time now is 6.18 a.m. Well, today we have a bi-weekly review, and the topic that I would like to talk about is uh, the placebo effect. Yep, so how about you? The topic I want to review is about our reading section, Atomic oh. Habit. Okay. Yep, so before we get started, please click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, so here we go. Okay, so um, would you mind if I start first because my sharing won't be long. Mm. Okay, for this placebo effect and then um, um, yeah, uh, I, I try to find it uh, from the internet and then uh, um, get some uh, um, explanation uh, for this and then uh, uh, let's say uh, there is one guy that uh, he um, he hurt his uh, body and then he will feel the pain yeah and then uh, uh, the, the pain is something like a signal to our brain and then uh, uh, the, the purpose of this is uh, something like uh, letting us know that we uh, we have hurt our body and then we may we may need to do something and then uh, once we find a solution for this and then uh, uh, our brain actually will release the dopamine and then uh, once the dopamine uh, is released and then uh, we may feel uh, less painful yeah, so um, for this logic, uh, um, uh, it can be applied to the uh, illness and then once the patients go to the hospital and then get the pills and after he uh, drank, uh, after he take the pills and then uh, uh, he would feel better. And then uh, yeah, this is also something like the... Uh, uh, physiological function just uh, I, I just mentioned yeah firstly uh, his body want to uh, send the signal to him that he is not feeling well and then once he goes to the hospital and then uh, something like find a solution for that and then uh, that the brain will start to uh, release the dopamine and then uh, uh, he will feel better after that so, um, uh, no matter how, uh, um, with this placebo effect, it is uh, supported by, uh, supported by trust. Yeah, if you trust something, and then uh, uh, it will go into uh, this process. Yeah, and then uh, beside this, I also found that uh, not only the uh, the, uh, we go to the hospital and then take a pill. And uh, one other places which uh, uh, is also the placebo effect can be found, which is uh, the uh, some religious approach to solve some problems. Yeah, some people they maybe they have uh, some illness. And then, or maybe they met something uh, uh, bad, or they had some bad experience, or they have some bad feelings, and they will look for uh, uh, some religious approach, and maybe go to the temple, go to the church, and then uh, uh, something like they will give, uh, they, they will get some relief, and uh, actually, for some of them. Uh, uh, they can actually, uh, uh, how to say, uh, they can heal themselves even is uh, for some uh, simple illness. Yeah, they go to the 
temple and then uh after they went back they uh they can feel like uh uh they recover or that they, they get better so for this one is also something like the placebo effect uh is supported by the trust yep so um okay for this one uh i think there is good and also there is bad uh, the good thing is, uh, if the illness is not a big deal, uh, and you can uh, recover from this, uh, uh, yeah, it is a good thing. Or some bad feeling, if you, uh, um, uh, if you feel like um, or you experience something really bad, and then uh, you feel worried, and if you get, if you can get some relief from these uh, approaches. Um, yeah, then uh, it will also be good. But what is bad is um, sometimes if the illness is uh, it's not a simple illness, uh, that may be something like uh, a bigger illness, a, a more serious illness. Then uh, um, because the illness will uh, will also be there, will exist. So uh, this kind of uh, um, placebo effect maybe is is uh, is not that good, and then uh, the best way is to uh, goes to go to the hospital and then uh, uh, to do the the uh, proper treatment instead of uh, something like cheating ourselves. Yep. So uh, okay. So this is one side, and then uh, another side. Uh, which is not really supported by placebo effects, but I think uh, uh, it's somehow related. Um, okay, for this one, it is more about... Uh, um, uh, because placebo is, effect is something like if we trust something, we believe in something, and then uh, um, we will feel different. So uh, for this one, I think... Uh, uh, they they may have some similarity, uh, between placebo effect and the law of attraction. Um, for this one, uh, uh, both of them need our uh belief, and then uh, if we believe in something, and then uh, the uh, it ends up give us better result. So uh, for this one, I think, uh, um, for example, if we uh, if we do exercise and we believe that uh, doing exercise can give us a lot of benefit, and then uh, um, uh, for, for this one, I think uh, uh, it is also uh, will give us some. Uh, uh, some more benefit than uh, without this kind of feeling. And then also maybe uh, if you have this kind of uh, trust and belief, uh, you, you may be happier when you do exercise. Yeah, it is also the same for uh, some other aspect. For example, uh, uh, if we eat healthier and then we, uh, we, we hope that uh, uh, this, this kind of healthy diet will help us to uh, get more healthier. Yeah, and then uh, the belief, the trust here uh, can be something uh, good for us. Yeah, so uh, these are my sharings today. Mm. <clears throat> uh, for the last part. Yeah. Uh, I watched one TED. Uh, a test, uh, a test speak in the past, mm. which is talk yeah. about the stress, and in in that, in that, uh, speak, the lecturer actually talk about, uh, stress can be our can be our friend, and in the past, uh, the speaker actually support the idea that stress is not good, mm. Mm. and stress is bad for our body and also for our mental health. Mm. But after 
after a few years research and investigation and yeah. actually she realized that the it's, the stress itself is not that bad what bad is actually our our interpretation our perspective oh. uh, our perception about the about a particular thing in this mm. case it is a stress mm. so and for for those people who think stress is bad for their health it did and for those people mm. who think stress is uh, is not bad for the health mm. yeah and 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 it didn't it didn't it didn't affect their their health mm. yeah yeah so uh from from uh from, from the speech and i learned that actually something is actually based on our interpretation and also our perception mm. Mm. so yeah so be because uh our mental and also our body is not that simple for example yeah. stress comes in and uh maybe stress can affect our health or maybe stress cannot affect our health this is just mm. one side yeah. but we have uh, but we have many sides for example like the placebo effect mm. Mm -hmm. so one side is a placebo one side is a stress stress yeah. could be health uh, stress could be bad mm. Mm. but um but if you think stress is bad and then the placebo effect will become nocebo effect mm. Yeah. Mm. So it will make your health uh worse. And yes. but the but for the stress part, if you think yeah, stress is actually good, yeah, because it makes you more excited and this is a normal uh uh this is a normal emotion and also a normal uh normal fluctuation of our body mm. of our uh either blood pressure and also like our heartbeat what what's that uh sinkyo. ah yeah the heartbeat and also uh one of uh, one of the chemical which is the shen shang xian shu oh. mm. <laughs> yeah and and also some other uh and also some, uh, some chemical will make us feel excited Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, and and all this is actually is normal. Yeah, because it proved that, uh, our fun uh, our body function is still good. Mm. Yeah, it's still it's still functioning well. Mm. So this is this is normal. Yeah. Then the placebo effect. Uh. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe the placebo effect will outweigh, outweigh the the stress, mm. the the uh the back the back impact of stress to your health to your body, yeah. so that in fact, in this case, uh stress didn't didn't cause any bad impact to your body. Mm. Yeah, something uh, like to make a contra with uh, with the bad effect right mm. yeah uh but 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 this but this is my guess because we still don't know whether stress inherently is bad for our health or not this is just my guess mm. yeah maybe it function like this or maybe it's not mm. but what i want but what i'm trying to say is uh the interpretation the perspective the, the perception uh, is, is, is quite important. And the second mm. is uh, our body and also our brain is not that simple as we think. Yeah, so we try to avoid uh, one direction thinking. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and about the interpretation and yeah and recently i watched about uh the lecture about 
uh, about the positive psychology. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and this is the open course from Howard. And, and in one of in one of the in one of the lecture mm. the, the the lecturer also talk about this the 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 interpretation about the event yeah it, the interpretation of event in our life for example mm. uh, there's a story yeah the Thomas addiction which is the uh, we can say the business partner of Tesla, Nikola Tesla, the Thomas addiction, which, uh, the Edison, okay, oh, okay. Yeah, the, per the person, the person who, mm, quote unquote, invent the light bulb. Mm. Mm. And uh, there's a journalist asked him, asked these editions, why you still want to determine and uh, uh, why you still want to determine on the invention of light bulbs since you already failed 5,000 times. Mm. And the addition asked ask the journalist to repeat again, what? Yeah. Feel what? Yeah, and then the <laughs> journalist repeat again, yeah, feel 5,000 times yeah, on the invention of light bulbs. Mm. And the addition replied to the journalist, I didn't fail 5,000 times. I success, yeah, I succeed to prove that I succeed 5,000 times to prove that this is not the way mm. to build yeah. the light bulb. Mm. Yeah, I succeed uh, to prove uh, uh, this is not the way to build a light bulb 5,000 times. Yeah. And then this this is an interpretation, and also we have we have many of these similar case. For example, uh, you you are finding a job, okay, mm. and you interview a lot of time, and also you send a lot of resume, but you still can't get your job. Mm. So, uh, in this scenario, you can uh you could have two different type of interpretation about mm. the event. The first is I'm bad. Yeah, I couldn't find a job. Mm. And the second is, yeah, uh, it's fine. Yeah, I know I uh, I know now I couldn't find a job. Yeah, and and I I actually can learn from this from every interview from every uh resume writing mm, to become better and better. And in at the end, all of this failure. Uh, will make us to have a great success. Mm. Mm. So this is the interpretation. Yeah. And also the research show that if you uh, uh I, I forget this is in which uh university and the teacher actually uh this is an experiment and, and and there's a lecturer or teacher teach some student or some people uh, how to uh, uh, train them uh, train them how to have the positive interpret uh, interpretation about their, their event and their life mm. Mm. and it's just a short training so maybe uh, it's just a few hours. Okay. Yeah. And then after, even 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 so, after like three months or six months, and then they study back, they study back this, uh, this these people who have received the train, and their life actually actually become better, and also, uh, and also their happiness level is increased. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. So that uh, 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 it could be one of the indicator that this thing is is very important, and also 
uh, for a long series of studies of research show that those people who have positive interpretation about their life and also the event they face will live longer than other people and also live happier. Mm. Mm. And also they will have greater su success in their life. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so uh, this is the addition to uh, to your sharing. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think this is a very good, um, very good uh, uh, attitude towards life. Mm. Yeah, and 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 one of the thing need to uh, need to know is, and also need to be aware is, uh, the positive perception about your life, and also. Uh, no, I, I mean uh, the, the positive interpretation about your life and the event you face. Mm. This, is, this is a skill. Yeah, and this is, this is an ability. It can be learned. So, yeah, so mm. this is not something that... Uh, this is not something... Uh, it's, it's not something like, like a talent. It cannot be learned after you're born. It cannot be trained. It cannot be improved. Yeah. Mm. So it's not the case. It can be learned. This is the skill. This is the ability that everyone can master and learn. Mm. Yeah. And uh, also, I think that uh, for this, uh, for this skill, and then uh, we also need to separate uh, this positive interpretation with the rationalization, right? Uh. For example, the same example, uh, uh, going to in the job interview, and if you couldn't get a job, uh, of course you can have the good interpretation, like uh, this is a uh, something like a, a chance for us to learn uh, more about the interview process, and then I can get better next time. Uh, um, but at the same time, uh, uh, that could be. Um, the, the reason that uh, because you, uh, uh, you 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 didn't have the qualification, you lack of uh, many skill. So uh, uh, um, uh, actually, that the maybe the the most import the more important thing is to uh, uh, keep upgrade yourself, and not uh, something like uh, rationalize and then uh, uh, don't. Uh, don't don't look at the, the main problem. Mm, yeah. Yes. So and it is something like we have to keep both the uh, positive inter uh, interpretation and at the same time uh, not to rationalize. Mm, and uh, okay, if you want to talk about rationalize, I think uh, it's quite similar. Yeah, because rationalize is also. Uh, it's also some interpretation about the event, mm, right? Mm, and yeah. the, uh, the key point is whether you take action or not, whether you take effective action or not. Mm. And uh, I, I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure what's your understanding about the rationalization. Uh, uh, there's nothing right or wrong, okay, but uh, uh, from my hearing, it seems like you um, you define rationalize rationalization is something that uh, you give an excuse you, you, you give an excuse and also you fail you fail to to take effective action or maybe you do nothing mm, you just stay in a comfortable zone. Something mm. like that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And uh, uh, there's nothing right or wrong, okay? But sometimes rational life will make you uh, do more. Yeah. Do more. And 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 this is this is really hard to 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 say that whether it is effective action at the current moment. Hmm. So for example. Mm. 
mm, you, you can rationalize uh, you you like teaching so you become a teacher mm. yeah but what yeah. if but what if you you join to another company <clears throat> and then you can become like the manager and also become like the uh, chef uh, chef officer and then you will be happier you can also learn more things yeah okay. and you like the job more than teacher mm. Mm. so it's just a rationalization because you haven't tried mm. Mm. yeah but you take action you already take action you you uh, uh you join the education industry mm. so so that's uh it doesn't mean that rationalization uh is a bad thing yeah so uh we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't like okay uh rational rationalization to me um is something which is uh no uh, not bad and not good this is just a phenomenon this is just this is just something that uh we may do okay mm. and i didn't say rationalization is uh, is bad thing yeah 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 but uh we just need to have the awareness whether we are doing the rationalization yeah and and yeah uh, we cannot avoid this we cannot avoid uh rationalization but what we can do is uh try to think yeah if this is if this is the rationalization then uh, what is other option I can choose? If, if, if this is not, then what, what can I do? Yeah, so it actually is try, uh, is, uh, you, you try to, you try to, you, t you try to raise the awareness whether you are, you are having regionalization. It's actually uh, avoid, avoid you yourself narrowing your view. Okay. Mm. Yeah. This yeah. is this is just uh 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 this is just simple. Okay. So it doesn't mean that you cannot you cannot rationalize your behavior or something like that. You can. Mm. Yeah. But if you want to make a better decision, uh you try to look the opposite way. Yeah. Yeah. Why I want to you 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 try to activate your meta connection. Yeah, why I want to do this decision? Why I want to make the decision? Is it because I want to stay in a comfortable zone? Mm. I don't want to take a challenge or something else. Yeah. And and this is nothing to do with the rationalization because uh, <clears throat> uh, when the process of thinking, you definitely will have the rationalization. So it requires you to have the critical thinking mm. and spend some time on the thinking. Yeah. 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 So to me, rational rationalization is is not a bad thing. Mm. And it's also uh, somehow is a positive interpretation of of the of the concept. Yeah. For example, you think rationalization is a bad thing. Yeah. So maybe it will cause the nocebo effect to you every time you you realize you are rationalize your behavior or or your thinking yeah so if you think rationalization is not a bad thing yeah and actually it's a good thing yeah because it actually give you give you an option to see a bigger picture mm. so this is a positive interpretation hmm yeah so actually uh yeah and then it uh and then it will create a placebo effect no the uh, uh it will create no, a nocebo. placebo effect yeah nocebo and not the, effect. and not the nocebo effect hmm yeah so so this is the interpretation and Rationalization is quite similar to the interpretation. Yeah. Mm. And 
uh, <clears throat> in the open course, they actually had class, uh, they actually have uh, have distinguished what is a realistic opti optimism. Yeah. Optimism and also what is unrealistic optimism. Yeah. So yeah, I think yeah. So I, I think it's also quite similar. Yeah. So uh <clears throat> if we have the positive interpretation and but mm. at the same time we we still need to work hard. Okay, we still need to work hard and then we still uh, need to take action. We also need to have the opti uh, uh, we also need to be optimistic. Yeah, and then but this is actually we we want to have the realistic optimistic. Yeah, mm. but not the unrealistic optimistic. Mm. Okay, so what uh uh what can the unrealistic optimization be? Um yeah, what is unrealistic? Okay. <clears throat> mm, yeah. Uh, uh, for this, uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Uh, uh, for the unrealistic and also the realistic optimism. Uh, I didn't spend enough time to understand the difference, and. Uh, one of the example, uh, one of the example, the the lecture share is actually something like, <clears throat> uh, uh, for example, you meet a girl that you like, mm. that you that you love, okay, and you think that, uh, you can get her, and after get her. And your life will be very happy. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And you will marry with, and you will marry with her and you can have the chance <laughs> to, to, to have to have sex with her. Yeah. Mm. And then you uh both of you can have a love child. Mm. <clears throat> and you can have a very happy family. <clears throat> mm. Yeah. Uh, so uh <clears throat> uh uh, it could be the unrealistic, <clears throat> uh, optimistic, yeah, uh, optimism. Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, because, uh, you link all the good thing, to, uh, to something that you, uh, that you want to achieve. So, once you cannot, once you're unable to achieve because it's out of your control. Yeah, you want to ask her, you you want to ask her out, but she refused. Yeah, she say no. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, so so, uh, your plan, your plan, uh, have been failed. Uh, uh, your yeah, your plan already failed. So, it does it means that you cannot get a happy life. You cannot get, um, uh, like the happiness, and you cannot have sex with other, other girl, other woman. You cannot marry with other girl, other woman. You cannot have child. Mm. Mm. You you cannot have a happy family. It doesn't mean that. So, yeah. uh, this this example that the lecturer give, yeah, uh, but uh, but I didn't study, uh, details. Yeah, yeah, and then, uh, I think I think one of uh I think one of the different is you try to link everything, yeah, every good thing. And then, uh, to a particular thing you want to do and you want to achieve, and use this way, use this method to mm. motivate yourself to achieve the thing, to get the thing. Mm. Yeah. For example, uh, I want to get this job. Yeah. Uh, mm. After I get this job, so I will I will get a high salary, mm. and I will have a good career path, and then I will meet my my dream girl, yeah, because I have money, I I'm wealthy. Yeah, then after I meet my dream girl, and then and then uh I can marry with her, mm. yeah, and then I can have a lot of child, and then my child, 
uh, would respect me. Yeah, because, yeah. So all this is because I, uh, is 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 on the premise of, I get the job. Mm. <laughs> I get the job. Yeah. yeah. So this is unrealistic, optim, uh, optimistic. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, anything else? Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. And about the topic I want to review is about the reading section mm. about the atomic habit, which is a book we, uh, which is a book we 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 read every Saturday. Yeah. And in last topic, uh, in last reading section, we actually have the summary, and both of us actually miss out something in the summary part. Did you oh. realize? Uh, I don't. Yeah, uh, in the summary, uh, we, we did mention about the heavy stacking and also mention uh, some linking in uh, some linking uh, concept idea that the author shared in previous reading session. And we also mentioned about like the pointing and calling. We also mm. mentioned about like the cues. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, but there's but there's also another thing. Yeah, one more thing we miss out. And we actually spend a lot of time on reading the part. Yeah. So so uh, so uh, what I want to say is the paragraph for that is actually it's just it's actually uh, quite long. Mm. But after we read and then mm. we miss out the thing. Mm. And which is and which is another method. Another method uh to deal with this uh to deal with this cue. Mm. And which is the uh, this is called the uh what is it called the implementation uh intention oh uh, yeah in implementation intention. intention yeah yeah implementation intention so mm. uh so uh uh specifically it should talk about when you want to do something and then you need to give a clear uh date time yeah, uh, uh, this is called, yeah, uh, 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 you need to give a clear instruction to yourself, okay? And for example, this is something mm. like, uh, at, at what time, at what time, uh, and also at what location, so it's time and location, yeah, what you want to do. Mm. For example, yeah. I, uh, the gout, uh, the politicians may ask you, yeah, yeah. The politician may ask you, uh, at what time and at what location you will go to the polling station and vote us, mm. yeah. So that, yeah, uh, so that they uh they'll ask you to repeat this again. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, so you may say yeah. At this Saturday, uh, I will go to. Like the uh, let's say like the Johor Bahru and and what uh, element uh, uh, elementary school, mm. yeah, and then I'll uh, at seven a.m. or at eight a.m. yeah, and then I will go there to vote you. Mm. Mm. So, uh, you kind of give a clear instruction to yourself, and then so that it will increase the chance, it will increase the probability. Uh, of stacking with the uh, with the thing you want to do or you want other people to do. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So this is the implementation intentions. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And <clears throat> yeah. And also, okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, uh, there is the thing I want to make a sharing, but now uh, I actually, mm. uh, I actually realize something. Okay, S uh, since we talk, uh, uh, since we talk about atomic habits, and yeah. then, 
yesterday our topic is unknown unknowns. Okay, mm. and <clears throat> there is some similarity between the habit forming and also habit breaking. Bet uh, be uh, between these habits and also the the unknown unknowns. Yeah, because uh, if we didn't if if we didn't manage to 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 list out our uh, daily behavior and daily habits, it seems like we are very difficult to realize why is the bad habit, why is the good habit mm. that we used to do. Mm. So that uh, the heavy scorecard uh, <clears throat> actually help us to list out uh, uh, the heavy scorecard is actually something that uh, require us to to list out our daily habits yeah. and then our daily behavior and it actually it actually give us give us the awareness of our behavior and our habits mm. and we actually know unknown unknowns is uh there is some relation uh there, there is some relationship between unknown unknowns and the awareness yeah so if you don't have the awareness mm. about something so this is an unknown unknowns to you mm. yeah and if you gain the awareness yeah you're aware of something then yeah. uh maybe this is not a non nonce but uh since you're already aware the existence mm. and it is at least at least it is uh, this is an non unknowns. Yeah, uh, this is a non unknowns. Yes. Yeah, because you're aware of it. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So that, uh, maybe we can try to use the technique, the method that we learn in Atomic Habit, and mm. apply to explore and also to avoid. The unknown unknowns to reduce the cost and the, and the risk that caused by unknown unknowns. Mm. Yeah, for example, mm. uh, and in, in yesterday I talked about uh, try to uh, try to uh, try to list out, try to standardize something. Mm. And then you also, uh, and then you also can do it like this. Yeah, you try to list out the thing you should do. Mm. You try mm. to list out the thing you should do when you need to, uh, uh, when you need to do a big project or something like that. Yeah. Mm. So it's something like you you give a plan, mm. and then it's quite similar to the standardize, standardize uh, a, a standardization, mm. and so that you try to list out all the things, and and first. Yeah, after you list out, you can realize uh, what is missing and then what is good, what is bad. Yeah. And then what is necessary, what is unnecessary and all that. And and second point is you can give your senior or you can give other people uh, see your plan. Mm. Yeah. So that they may spot some of your unknown unknowns. Mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So this is kind of apply the scorecard into uh into the unknown unknowns. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and also uh yeah, you also can apply some other uh, <clears throat> uh some other technique. Yeah, some other technique uh that we learn in this atomic habits. Mm. Uh, for example, uh, we learn about like the heavy stacking. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. You, you, uh, you also can stack this together. Yeah. After I do this, then, uh, what is the next I need to do? Yeah. All mm -hmm. that, and yeah. try try to link try to link the second step back to the first step. So everything is interlinked. Everything is linked together, so that it actually reduces the risk of missing something. 
Yeah, mm. uh, but but in this case, uh, it, it's uh, it's up to you whether you want to maintain a list or not. Yeah, but I, but I think you, you you still need to maintain a list because without the list, you you can't really <clears throat> you can't really link them together. Just like just just like the habit stacking, if you don't have the habit scorecard, yeah. you are very difficult to to find. Yeah, what behavior, what habit you can you can insert. And you can rearrange and make it stack together. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So so the so the list out of uh uh of <clears throat> of your behavior of the thing of of the detail of the detail detail step you want to do is uh is is crucial is important. Mm. Yeah. And we also can have a checkpoint. Yeah, after you do that, yeah. Actually, in my last company, I used to make a lot of mistakes that I miss out something. Yeah, and and the boss actually suggests me to to create like something like a checkpoint. Mm. Mm. And the first advantage of the of the checkpoint is actually, uh, it actually eliminate um my mistake. Yeah, because I write out all the things. <clears throat> I write out all the things. Yeah, of course you 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 definitely cannot write out all the step and list out all the thing mm. just in uh, just at first. You may you may add, yeah, you may add, you may insert some something, yeah. After that. So and what I want to say is the list will become more comprehensive. Yeah, mm. will become more complete. And at the end, you don't need to you you don't you don't need to amend the list anymore. Yeah, yeah. it takes time. Yeah, yeah, it takes time. So that, um, yeah, the first, uh, the first benefit is you it, it it eliminate your mistake. Yeah, because after you do the thing and then you check, you check to the checkpoint. Yeah, have you done this? Have you done this? Have you done this? Yeah, and. If 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 in the list there is like twenty things you need to do, and then yeah. all the things, uh, and and when you perform the checklist, the the checkpoint, and then, and if all the things you already done, then it's okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and then the second benefit is actually it become a guidance. Yeah, so <clears throat> because we we need to manage a lot of company, so sometimes. Uh, uh, for the quarterly <clears throat> account, and you you only do once every quarter, yeah. Mm. And some of the double entry is quite complex, so you may forget, and also you may forget uh where you want to refer to, which uh which amount you you need to get from, yeah, yeah. And then by maintaining the the checkpoint, yeah, you can make it. As few as possible, and it become a guidance already. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Even though I I didn't something I I didn't like, <clears throat> uh, use like something like the Excel formula, and then <clears throat> try to make the thing automate, but I actually try to standardize the thing, and then try to make make me like a like a robot to just follow the checkpoint. Follow the checklist to mm. to to perform the job. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. So. Yeah. So. Uh. Every time <coughs> I need to do the count, I I definitely will open the my my checkpoint. <coughs> yeah. And what's the first? Okay. The first I need to do this. For example, scan scan all the bank statement into into computer. Okay. So I will do that. And mm. after that, I will take. Then what's the next? Okay, and and I'll refer to my checkpoint, and then I will do yeah, and next and next yeah. yeah. So this is very very efficient. And after I manage the list, and I actually cut cut the times, cut the times. Uh. Uh. Sorry, I miss. Uh, I actually save. Uh, forty percent of time. Yeah, because this forty percent in the this saving of forty percent. Times is actually including the experience that I already gained, yeah, and the knowledge that I already gained about this company, 
Yeah, but more or less, uh, uh, it have the effect. Yeah, uh, it have it have the effect. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, because, uh, we manage a lot of account, and, yeah, you are, you are right. You may have a lot of experience. You may gain some experience of handling this account. Yeah. You also have knowledge about this company. What's the nature? What what should you do? And but you only do once times every quarter. Can you still keep the memory? Probably not. Mm. Mm. Yep. Yeah. And you may also spend time, spend time to to look back the previous double entry that you have done in last quarter. So it's also time consuming. Mm. Yeah. So if you write this in your checklist, in your checkpoint, yeah, and then uh, it become a guidance and you just need to like a robot to follow, to follow the instruction that you write to yourself, that you yeah. give to yourself. Yeah. And it's very easy. Yeah. yeah. Easy and uh, uh, no, no error, right? Less, mm. uh, less errors because you, uh, every time you follow it, and yeah. I think it is, uh, yeah, really very good to list out, uh, all these things, and then, uh, once you found, uh, uh, let's say one of the, uh, process which you have better approach, then you can something like, uh, to yeah, you also can improve. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then you write it, write it out, and then, uh, it, uh, make us, uh, clearer, right? Mm. Yeah, the whole process. Yeah, and you also can apply this technique in your teaching. Mm. Uh, I'm not sure whether you have list out the thing you 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 need to teach in a class. Yeah, and and maybe for example, uh, you try to manage like the first ten minutes. I need to talk about this, and then the the next twenty minutes. I need to I need to share something about this, and then the next five minutes. I need to tell a story. Mm. And then it's the story is actually help them help my student memorize better, and then and then like the next thirty minutes I will I will go into another chapter something like this. <clears throat> mm. yeah, I'm not sure whether you have list out all these things. No, <clears throat> I yeah. didn't. Mm. And uh, have have you faced some experience that you actually uh miss out something in your teaching? Uh, yes. Yes. Mm. Mm. Is it is it often? Um. Uh. Oh, you did it already. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. Sometimes. Um. Uh. They also have some confusion because. Uh. Uh. uh let's oh, say if really? if, mm. if I have uh these, uh, let's say I say uh uh form let's say form one students, and then let's say I have two classes. And then uh, sometimes I also confuse uh, like uh, whether I have told the students about this to mm. them before because I have two classes and the uh, uh, the progress is different. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. And what, what what if you maintain the list mm. for each class, and then you can you can refer back, right? Mm. And then. And one and and you it doesn't mean that you you have to spend a lot of time on doing this, yeah. And yeah, if uh, uh before the class start, you just need to spend something like five minutes to have a refresh, <clears throat> and then write it down and list it down. Yeah, mm. it won't cost you a lot of time, right? Yes. <clears throat> yeah, and after you done this, and you can copy, you can copy the similar teaching to another class that is uh, uh that haven't reached this progress mm. yeah so uh, technically you just need to uh, uh the job you need to do is very very less mm. Mm. <clears throat> and then after you've done this and you can have uh and after you've done this you, you have two lists for yeah uh, you have you have one list for each class yeah and you also and you also can 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 look back, yeah. You also can trace back, yeah, what you have teach and what you 
and, and, and you also can give a mark. For example, yeah, uh, j- just like the scorecard, mm. we have like the positive, negative, neutral. Yeah, and for this, you also can, yeah, this, uh, f- for this, and my student have already uh, well learned, okay, well learned, and for this, uh, they still need practice, and for mm. this, it's okay. Yeah, nothing good, nothing bad. So it's neutral. Yeah. yeah. And each class and each and each class have uh uh have different uh situation, have different scenario. So may- maybe maybe the class one can well learn some knowledge, but not for other class. Mm. Yeah. And then and then after the end of the quarter or the end of the month, you can try to develop a customized strategy to to uh to 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 give them to give the class <clears throat> uh have a uh <clears throat> uh how to say to uh to test them to test them and also to revision to make a revision mm. yeah about about the knowledge about the topic the chapter the sub the sub chapter that they that they're not familiar. Mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And and it doesn't mean that you you can only have this way to do. And maybe you also can based on your uh uh based on your what is it called? Uh uh your status or your what? Your zhuang tai. Yeah. Okay. Uh, based based on your zhuang tai, the status, yeah, uh, uh, on on a on a particular class, yeah, I mean, uh, on on each class. For example, mm. uh, <clears throat> I didn't uh, uh, for this, I think I didn't explain well. Yeah. Mm. So maybe you can mark, you can mark. Yeah. Right. Like like negative. Yeah. And for this, I think uh, <clears throat> I think I explained quite well, and student give me a positive feedback. So I I mark it positive, mm. and then and then like at the at the end of the day or at the end of the month, end of quarter and end of year, you can have a revision of your teaching, yeah, and you can improve. You can improve on something that you uh you cannot teach well, and you also can, uh, you also can try to enhance, enhance the thing you teach very well. Mm. Yeah. Mm. This is also another way of doing things, and you also can have both. Yeah, both sides. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, in this case, uh, it's better for you to use Excel to manage the list because you can filter. And if you use the word, you cannot filter. For example, mm. uh, the first column is, uh, is is the <clears throat> is the thing I want I need to teach for the class. <coughs> yeah, or, or maybe, or, or maybe, or maybe, if you want to make it something like the tabular format, the table mm. format, and the first column can be the date, can be the date, okay. And if if in if if in a day you need to teach two class for the same subject, okay. And maybe you also need another column which is the time. Yeah, try mm. to manage something like a table. And then in the third column, and could be the uh uh the title. Uh, sorry, uh, uh the thing you the thing you 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 need to teach mm, yeah. in the class. And then the fourth column could be like the uh, uh whether student is well learned or not. And then the next column is whether you well teach or not. Mm. Yeah, and you can have uh, you can have a lot uh a con. Uh, you can have, uh, uh, you can add in more and more information if you use Excel to manage the list. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah, uh, you can have a lot of way to improve your teaching. It doesn't mean that you you only need to. Uh, what you can do is is only like improving yourself and make mm. you become, uh. Uh, a person can can speak English very well, 
uh, know a lot of grammar. Yeah, you know a lot of grammar doesn't mean that you can teach well. Yeah. yeah, and if you want right. to learn English well, it does. It also doesn't mean that you have to be teacher. Yeah, so mm. if you say you like language, and then so you become teacher, it's a different. It's a different concept. It's a different idea. You like English, yeah, and it can be your hobby. It doesn't mean that you have to be teacher. Mm. If yeah. you want to be teacher, it it means that you like to teach people. You like mm. to enjoy, like the. <clears throat> Like the, uh, the 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 sense of accomplishment, to uh, and then you can improve other people. You can make other people life become better. Yeah. Hmm. And if this is the case, then what you should do is not improve your English language. Yeah, it's actually improve their English language. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Right. <clears throat> Okay, so anything else? Uh, no. Okay, so that's all for our today conversation. How do you feel? Did you enjoy the conversation? Please tell us what you think about conversations. And we are not native speakers. If you found any vocab or group mistakes that we make, please also comment to let us know because we want to learn more and improve ourselves. Remember to like and subscribe to us. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.